She's sloppy first. That's no excuse. I think people slap each other all the time. It's like half of reality television. Also, let's not forget, I was right. Little Danny was lying. Okay, I don't think that's gonna be the takeaway from the dinner. Okay, well, if I am so horrible, maybe I should just go. Yeah, just out in the night, into the cold, armed with nothing but my pepper spray and my gun. You know what, maybe that's a good idea. I mean, look, this is a family matter and we gotta figure it out, so. Okay, everybody, Mindy had to leave. So let's just enjoy this nice fish meal and talk about something more pleasant. Son, I know that little Danny has said some things, but I still feel that our agreement is going to provide her with the best situation for her to thrive. Wait a minute. What agreement? Danny said that I could come live with him in New York. You said that little Danny could come live with you and Mindy slapped up? Huh? Oh, no, 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 no. Where are you going? Ma? Ma? Hi, how much to go to San Francisco? Mindy, wait! Oh, God, hold on one second, sir. Okay, you caught me. I took your candlestick, I was just borrowing it. What the hell? No, listen, when Richie was 15, I wouldn't let him go live with Brett Easton Ellis, so he threatened to throw himself off the Empire State Building. I said, good. Here's 10 bucks, enjoy the view, bring me back a t-shirt. Annette, as much as I love hearing the origin stories of gay men, I gotta go, I'm sorry for ruining your dinner. No, Mindy, you didn't ruin it. You weren't exactly Grace Kelly, but when a kid's a brat, you take him down. Now please, come back inside. You don't even have your coat. Annette, I can't. Once they start slapping people, I can't stop. And I'm so mad Danny didn't have my back in there. And I'm the one that's just like sitting here, sweating so hot. How can you be hot? It's 20 degrees out. Uh, I'm from Boston. This is like topless weather for me. Wait a minute. You weren't drinking. And when you hugged me, you were bigger than usual. My brush have always been huge. Mindy, are you pregnant? Uh, I don't think so, ma'am. You're sweating because our hot little Pasolano babies are like an angry furnace in your stomach. They are? Yes. It feels like I'm swallowed a space heater. It's agony. Oh, honey. Oh, this is the best part. It's gonna be so awful for you, but I'm thrilled. I'm gonna be a grandma. Oh, my God. Listen, I gotta go nail some Stugats to the cross, and I do not want my grandson to see this. I'm gonna be a grandma. Should I just stand here? Because that was the only cab I could find, and I have like a negative seven on Uber. You know, Robert, I never would have pictured Annette with the lady doctor. Her taste used to run more towards motorcycle bad boys. Robert served in Vietnam while you cut your pinky toe off for the draft board. It was a lawnmower accident. Everybody shut up. All I wanted was a nice, classy dinner to show off that I finally have things pretty good. But I guess I forgot that even after 30 years, garbage still stinks. The garbage is you. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Oh. You miserable SOB. You left your son to raise your other son, and now you're trying to make him raise your daughter, too. Ma, relax. It's the best thing for the family. I haven't even gotten to you yet. Do you have Stockholm Syndrome? You just love raising your brothers and your sisters, and now you kick your girlfriend and your unborn child out of the house? What? What are you talking about? You don't know? Castellano men, shoot first, ask questions never. She's pregnant. Kiss me. It's Mindy, leave a message. Mindy, where are you? I need to see you. Mindy? Mindy? Man? Tell me. I tried to 
to tell you, it's just, there never seemed to be a good time. And I know you're mad, but it's okay, Danny. I can raise this baby by myself. My little brother and I, we had a parakeet when I was little, and it died after three months, but they were three good months. And I love that parakeet. And We're a family. Your heart is glowing.